What is up? My name is Nicole, and this is Homemade by Boba Dicta TV. Let's do it! In this series, we're going to be making different boba-inspired dishes all in the comfort of our own kitchen. You can watch or you can follow along at home. Just make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. For this episode, we're going to be making Earl Grey Rice Crispy Treats. And I am so excited to try this recipe because the first time I tried this was in Texas back in 2018 at a place called 101 by Tea House. They were made by Miss Confectionist and so good that I'm linking her Etsy below in case you guys want to buy some of her treats. However, for this I'm going to be using a recipe from Natalie Journeys which is also linked below. First thing we're going to do is add 8 tablespoons of unsalted butter into a saucepan over medium heat. Stir this until it's melted and once it's all melted let it cook just a little more. We're looking for a nice golden brown color and a nutty aroma. Be careful during this stage because it goes very quickly from being great to being burned. Once it's nice and golden brown remove it from the heat and strain it onto 3 tablespoons of Earl Grey loose leaf tea. Let that steep for about 5 minutes or for however long you normally steep your tea for. Just keep in mind that the longer it steeps, the stronger the tea flavor will be. That can also mean more bitter depending on what tea you're using. Cause you can also use jasmine tea or any type of tea if you don't really like Earl Grey. And if you don't have loose leaf tea, I'm sure tea bags will be just fine. Okay cool, once it's done steeping, we're gonna strain it back into our saucepan. Make sure to press down on those tea leaves and get all that buttery tea flavor. Turn the heat on to medium low and add in 3 fourths of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're going to add in our marshmallows. We use this entire 10 ounce bag of medium sized marshmallows, but if you have mini marshmallows, get like four cups, mix them up until they're looking like melted mozzarella. And by the time you're craving cheese, turn off your heat and add in your rice cereal. I say rice cereal because the store was out of Rice Krispies, so we had to get this off brand, but we're in a pandemic right now, so this will have to do. Also, we try this recipe two ways, one with four cups of cereal and one with six. The one with four cups, the one you see now, is the one that was more gooey and sweet, gave off more Earl Grey tea flavor. The one with six cups, the tea flavor was more subtle and the Rice Krispies itself were less sweet. All around felt healthier. So naturally everyone preferred the four cup one, but I preferred the six cup one. Once your cereal and marshmallows are evenly combined, pour that mixture onto a greased baking dish. Pro tip, make sure you spray cooking oil on your spatula or whatever you'll use to spread your mixture out. It's going to make your life 10 times easier. Let that set for about 15 minutes, cut into squares and enjoy. These are going to last for a few days, but they taste better fresh. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you have any suggestions on what we should make next, let us know in the comments or on Instagram. We're always posting little polls on Instagram, so follow us on there. Or don't. You know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Bye!